Is my corgi weird? He's got some corks, but is he weird? Maybe. Corgis come in different colors, shapes, and sizes. Some have a more calm temperament, while others have endless amount of energy. Some will awoo before they eat, and some will announce to the world at the door when you eat. While there are general similarities and tendencies with corgis, each have their own personalities and quirks. In this video, I'll show you how Gandalf differs from other corgis. Number 1. Tippity Tap vs Crazy Eyes I really love these corgis that do the tippity tappity dance. They're so excited for the ball that they can't contain themselves. This enthusiasm is just contagious, and you can't help but laugh. On the other hand, Gandalf is on the opposite end demonstrating his crazy eyes. Gandalf takes fetching very seriously and gives 110% of his attention. You can already see in his mind making the calculation so that he can catch the ball no matter the trajectory or velocity. He's just such a serious corgi when it comes to fetch so I'd like to say that he's definitely in tune with Mamba mentality. He's not the Black Mamba, he's the Tri Mamba. Okay, maybe that's a stretch, but you get it. Number 2. Sleeping on the bed versus sleeping under the bed. There are so many cute videos of corgis sleeping on the bed with their owners, snuggling nicely. It's very heartwarming watching corgis show affection to their owners first thing in the morning while in bed. Gandalf actually doesn't know what to do with himself when we place him on a bed. He's not allowed on our bed because of all the fur that he sheds. However, we've gone to some dog-friendly hotels before and let Gandalf hop onto the bed for the night. For some reason, he just freezes and doesn't move. Perhaps he's confused because he can't be on the bed at home. Instead, Gandalf prefers Mr. Bear or sleep by the toilet. Actually, those are two of his favorite napping spots. At night, Gandalf sleeps next to me on his bed. However, in the middle of the night, he typically goes under the bed. So in the mornings, we're greeted by this nice little surprise. I got a surprise for you. You got a surprise for me? What is it? It's me. It's me. Number three, Corgi Flop versus Corgi and Shock. This is one of the first viral Corgi videos I recall seeing before getting Gandalf. It's got to be one of the cutest things I've ever seen. There are lots of swimming corgis on social media. Gandalf, on the other hand, is scared of swimming. He loves playing in the water, but once his sense of security is taken away from him when his short stumps are unable to feel the ground, he panics a little bit. I think we'll stick with ground sports, Gandalf. Help give Gandalf some moral support by hitting that like button. He'll greatly appreciate it. Number 4. Kisser versus Taster. All corgis love to give warm kisses to their owners, right? Gandalf doesn't. Instead, he likes to lick my legs after a hard, sweaty workout because I probably taste like a saltine cracker. I don't think it's a sign of affection, but who knows? Comment below if your dog does this and if you know why, because I'm clueless on this weird behavior. Number 5. Patient versus Impatient with Food. I've shared in the past that corgis are extremely food motivated so you would think that Gandalf would be very vocal about his food. The reality is he is so patient. Once in a while, we let our kids help feed him and it would literally take up to 5 minutes and he just calmly waits for his release. On a very rare occasion, we have forgotten to feed Gandalf in the evening. Rather than bark at us to demand food, he is typically not vocal about it until we realize that we have forgotten to feed him. What a patient and good boy. Number 6. Blow Dryer versus Zoomies After a bath, we usually give Gandalf a quick towel off. On occasion, we'll use a blow dryer, but overall, the towel is just enough. Gandalf has another method of drawing himself off. After a quick shake, he goes on the most epic and awesome frapping session. I'm not sure if it's all the pent-up energy or he's just super excited that he's done with the bath, but this is when Gandalf has his best frapping sessions. He'll just go on and on. I have a feeling that Gandalf might not be the only dog that does this. Comment below if your dog is an after the bath frapper. We'd love to know. If you made it through this far of the video, thank you. Please be sure to hit that like button so that we can help this video spread to others. If you're enjoying these videos, be sure to check out this next video in the link below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.